Hello, it's Tiffany with Rattle the Stars Studios, and today we are going to make ourselves a journal. Now, I have been an avid tabletop role player for many years now, and I've got a D&D podcast that's been going five years strong. And while there are so many different ways to keep your character sheet, including D&D Beyond, and just the paper copy that you can find in the back of the player's handbook, sometimes you want something just a little bit more custom, a little bit more fun and funky, and that gives you more of a vibe for when you're playing. Also, if you're like me, you have a lot of random characters for different one-shots and other games. And you know, there are a few of them that I have played for some longer one-shots that I just would love to have a place to keep all of their notes and their character sheets and just give myself a bit more of that at the table pen and paper vibe that I don't always get when I utilize D&D Beyond. So today, we are going to make a one-shot character journal. I am going to be using the RNW journal as a base. They have a PDF copy of their character journal, and I really like how they've laid out their character sheet and how they have utilized it in two smaller different pages. What's really nice about it is that I can print it on this little beauty here. Ignore all of the projects it's also holding, but I can do the pages on just a standard US letter size piece of paper, and I'm really excited about that. So let's start printing our pages and dive on in. Now, because I said this journal's goal is to hold a handful of different characters and notes for me, I have opted to print three copies of the character sheet. So my journal will be able to hold three different characters in here. With that, I need an amount of notes for each. So what I decided is that each character sheet will get two note signatures. Uh, signatures being these folded packets of paper. I opted to do one piece of the grid in with all of the lined pieces of paper so that I can also do drawings and maps as needed for these games. So the journal is going to be put together character sheet, signature, two signatures of notes, and repeat. So we will have a total of nine signatures going into this journal. Now for this as well, I also opted to use a woven placemat as my binding. It gives it kind of a fun feel. It's not going to be super stiff, so I will have to make sure I am playing at a table where I have the ability to press down on something when I'm writing but I think it'll give it a really fun kind of like homemade vibe, which is really what I'm going for. So let's get on to the next part of this now that we have our signatures all done. Now that everything is folded, I am using those pages to determine the size of my journal on the placemat, deciding how much overlap I want and how much space at top and bottom. Once I figure that out, I cut the placemat to the lines that I made. And then I just bind it all up with a thin black bias binding. I use a scrap piece of paper folded in half to determine how many stitching points that I want for this book. And then I use that extra piece of paper to act as a template for punching the holes into all the signatures. When it comes time to 
to sew the signatures in, I'm using purple embroidery floss that I have run through my beeswax to give it a little extra stability for the sewing process. I will link a YouTube channel down below in the description that I love for learning how to do different kinds of book binding because I am by no means an expert. There you have it we have a lovely journal all put together here i am really excited to get to use this with some of my one-shot characters especially some of my favorites that i like to come back to over and over again one of them is a tabaxi barbarian and another is a kenku paladin squire which is just really fun for me anyways i hope you enjoyed this please go check out RNW's shop. They are listed in the description. They have amazing D&D &D supplements. Um, if you've never played D&D &D before, I encourage you to do so. If you have no interest, but you love hearing good stories, please check out my podcast. It is northbynorthquest.com. You can also find that in the description. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and making this journal, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.